Hi guys, this is episode 5 of my Creative Club Car Mode. Sorry that there is no face cam for this episode. I'm not able to use it due to some unforeseen circumstances, but I definitely should be able to get back on the screens for tomorrow's episode. Last episode was a real bummer, but now we have a really, really tough match against Barcelona. Let's hope that we're at least going to be able to survive the way we did against Real Madrid and not the way we did against Valencia. Sorry, Villarreal. If a match could be a devil's incarnation, then that was that match. Germa went up to 182 because I switched him to a left winger. Alright, so we kick off now and to be honest, I'm actually kind of tensed because I do not want what happened in the match against Villarreal to repeat itself. And that was a good pass but Jordi Alba, or rather Sergio Roberto was just able to hold, hold German up and get that interception. I have to say, at least we've been able to hold them off so far. We've been intercepting and we have been at least passing a little bit better in this match. And I mean, although they have a really good opportunity at a goal right now, but let's see if we can try and get this. And we do, but it goes straight back to the to their player. And we can probably. This is a good chance. This is a really good chance. Still wait for Tega to miss this though. Bottom left corner, and that's the first goal against a huge team like Barcelona. I think being at home has a huge effect on how well you play in a match. I should think, because we beat Atletico Madrid, we were able to beat Real Madrid, their match was way tougher. And then Villarreal completely demolished us in their home, and now we're in Barcelona. I mean, although we scored first against Villarreal, and then they they came back to kill us. Please, if anybody has any tips on how to defend better, please let me know. Or if you know any videos that talk about how to defend better, please let me know. I'll just give Rise there, but I mean, it wasn't really. And that is a good chance for goal number two, and the pass was just too, too powerful for. Fonseca to reach there and we're actually intercepting like crazy we're actually getting the ball back really really fast and actually I actually like this new resolve that the team has right now it's it's nice to see actually and we end up with the ball once again let's try and rebuild or not shoot it fuck that was close that was really close what you want to like balance because of Araujo that was giving me giving him a really tough time but I mean it was it was as close as you could possibly get in that sort of situation all right so we have Rise once again and it was a good ball but it's offside I mean I just had a feeling I could have passed like one second earlier there all right so I don't know how the hell they just let the young run past them like that. I don't, I don't even think he's fast enough to be able to do that and Bandre comes up with another wonderful save. Alright, we go into the second half 1-0 up. That was a really good match from us and we, we, we actually held Barcelona really well in the first half. I mean, apart from those last two opportunities that they had there, but Bandre, Bandre has completely got us covered in that post to be honest. It's been a really good first half. Good goal from Fonseca to take us up one goal and well, Let's see if we are able to capitalize on that in the second half. Okay, so the second half begins, Barcelona kicks off and let's try and get the ball from them as fast as possible so that we can start building up our second goal. Okay, and alright, it was offside, thank god. <laughs> it was offside. I mean, I really tried my best not to let them get that goal there, but I mean, I just wasn't able to succeed with that, but I mean, we got saved by the offside. offside offside flag sorry okay so they have another opportunity here that i absolutely have to stop by all means and fucking hell fucking hell <laughs> it was coming to be honest it was it was coming and there's nothing that i could have done about that i mean there is everything i could have done about that to be honest just that the defending is so freaking hard like so much harder than FIFA 22 here and i mean there's really nothing i could have done about that we have time for a couple more opportunities so i mean i can only hope that we we, 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 we do good on those. Okay, so we release German here. 
And what can you do, brother? Nothing, basically. I mean, he's supposed to be a five-star skiller already. Why the hell did he do that instead of what I actually wanted him to do? And these guys that just ran into each other and fucked and fucked themselves up. But we, oh my god, oh my god, how the hell does that happen at that point in time? I mean, the fact that I didn't even do anything for that to happen is so unfair. I mean, but there's really nothing that you can actually do in these circumstances because I mean, he did. I mean, I saw the foul there and I, and I know that it's supposed to be a penalty, but it's just more annoying when I didn't actually do anything to deserve it. And exactly, I didn't do anything to deserve it, so I mean, I get another chance. What the fuck am I doing here? I'm literally, I was literally playing with fire just now. I mean, it would be fun if Rise makes a run for, or maybe not Rise, but maybe somebody. That was a, that was, that was really nice control from Kallenberg. And I mean, there's literally nobody. Oh, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's actually in, he's actually in, he's actually in. And of course not. We draw the match though. It's a favorable result for us. I mean, continuing, we are playing against Barcelona. So we are able to save the penalty there because for some reason the, the AI keeps fucking doing panenkas, thinking that I would dive the other way. But no, I actually wait for them to shoot before I, I dive most times. We're going up against Athletic Bilbao next, and I think this should be the first time that we're going to be using our away jersey. I'm going to be going with the first team, no changes at all, just like last match. And I'm going to be playing the attack only highlight. Playable highlights is all about taking your chances. And if I cannot take my chances this match, then we're just going to keep dropping down the table all right so our first opportunity here is an attack in the seventh minute let's see what we can do here i'm actually not sure what i want to do right now but let's just try and slowly build up and we the ball gets intercepted we have another opportunity a free kick far far away and i'm obviously going to take the shot because or let me try and go long to see i think that was too much what exactly will happen and we do not end up with the ball okay so we're in the 37th minute and we have yet another attack let's see what will come up oh that was that was a really good chance and he was actually able to keep that ball there but we were able to score the goal let's see what we can do now it's a really good counter attack and who, who, who is running who is running no one is freaking running. It's so, it's so annoying. It's so annoying that these guys, I, I know for a fact that these guys are way faster than this. But for some reason, they're deciding to do nonsense. Nonsense. And it's so, it's so annoying. It's like so freaking annoying. And we're in a seventh minute. It's a good, it's the best opportunity of the, of the game so far. And obviously, we're going to give Fonseca here. Who might, who might just give it to Rise because Rise hasn't gotten a goal. And that's his first goal of the club, if I'm not wrong. But, I mean, we just have to give him because he has been absent for so long and he just needs a goal to at least get, get himself running. So that's the end of the match. We do win it 1-0. That's a good match for us. Rise said, thanks for pushing me back into action at last. I definitely feel ready. It was the right decision, wasn't it? I mean, you've been back in action for, for a while now. But I'm just going to tell you, I'm just going to increase your morale just for the sake of it. I actually hope for a match where I do the highlights that they give us solo runs throughout. That would be really good to see. But right now, we have the match against Hetafe. We're going to be simming it. But let's just do a make a couple changes to the first 11 here. I think I'm going to put Lozano... Let's put Lozano in for Zaracho. Flores in for Donovan. And okay, I think I think we should be good with this. Let's simulate it. Hopefully we get the win. We are home, so it really shouldn't be a problem. And we do. Fonseca gets the goal for us. Next match is against Rio Valladolid. And we get the win. Fonseca scores yet again. And Kallenberg gets the second goal for the team this time around. Ivan Dre is still the clean sheet leader, by the way. He has 11 clean sheets in 19 matches. The transfer window only means one thing and one thing alone. We have Noni Maduke. And this is going to be a player that will be able to help out both Rise and German on the wings. The asking price is 26.5 million, but I I didn't read what I was supposed to give him, but I'm just going to put put it on 26.5 on the dot. We have enough money for that. They actually accept it, which means I could have gotten him for way less. I do not I do not like this at all. I could have probably given him 20 million off the bat. They most likely wouldn't have declined straight away, but that's what happened. I'm going to delegate the wages 32 to 48.5 million. What do we have here? Scouting report from Spain. I don't see anybody that is still. I still don't see anybody that's good enough. Don't tell me we're going to run through the entire entire team and nothing comes out. Nothing comes out. 
actually so next up we have netherlands still nothing it's it's really annoying let's just okay this guy is 70 to 94 and his uh overall is pretty decent so i mean i'm signing him at least finally and this guy as well 67 to 91 he's 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 not good enough but let me just sign him because we don't have anybody in our team this guy overall is complete shit but your this thing is really good you're 15 so I mean, i'm just going to sign you i'm actually signing them out of desperation but i'm definitely not going to sign this guy someone that is above 60 but we do have really decent potential here that we're going to have to be keeping an eye on madikri has accepted for 33,000 pounds and this is him coming straight into the team uh our manager is no, nowhere to be found two girls nowhere to be found i think this cutting where he like runs in and runs back out yes this is it so really no time for maduke here let's just wait and see what number what number he gets the training drills are actually really amazing all right so that is him we didn't get to see the number that he's he's wearing but we will see it in a bit i think that's number 13 there i saw it on his shorts and well definitely not an a for this deal i mean i'm pretty sure oh <laughs> I, I was actually wrong there why did we get an a i'm actually quite shocked fantastic job you got the best out of that deal and we we did get him bang on his transfer his transfer value but they're asking price was 41.4 so i guess that's good enough and with the fact that he does bring in more squad depth he has some sniper rating already so i, th I guess that means he's going to bench Risei for the time being i mean most likely forever <laughs> unless Risei actually does really well i mean i will be i will be rotating them often well since he's left footed he's pretty fast i wonder what i actually would want to give him right now maybe wide playmaker because he's okay his finish is not all that so i guess i'm going to have to do this or oh, let's make him a playmaker for now his finishing is not that bad so he's really okay so i'm i'm, I'm making him a playmaker so that he can get better at dribbling and all those important stuff that actually that i actually really need in this team second match against hetafe that's two matches in this episode i'm going to be seeing this one as well and let's see if we're able to get the win no we don't fonteca and Rise get the goals for this team and uh Rise came in for kalenberg so i think that's actually another position that he can play because i mean he's the fastest in the team he has literally 98 pace and i mean it sucks that we aren't able to, to win this match though the good news is that we are still third position after all that i mean this is the first time we're losing in this episode but real madrid has gone so fucking far away from everybody they are 10 points away from second position and 11 points away from us fonseca has appeared at the top five scorers of this season though he has 11 goals in 20 matches benzema is absolutely killing it and benicius as well i really have no doubt that the both of them are going to be up there the only problem is where the fuck is lewandowski we have yet another player that has entered the ranks of an 80 overall that's Cal that's good for him. Calvin James is really close. Donovan is really close as well. And Zaracho, sorry, and Kai Van Dre, the keeper. I mean, he really deserves. He really deserves to be an 80 rating. German is already an 83. That is fucking insane. We have already beaten Athletic Club in this episode, and I have a feeling we are going to do the same in this match, even though we are playing it. We won them the Sims. I, I really can't remember if we this episode or not anymore, dude. But I mean, we have we have a lot to do in this match, and we absolutely have to get the win. Absolutely, absolutely, because we are. We are, we are still in the top four and that is really good for us but I want us to be able to keep our space there and that was a really good chance there I mean I have to stay quiet for most of it because I really wanted to focus on what I wanted to do I'm going to have to give Kallenberg this because I want the best course possible right now and yeah, that's that's it that's that is it that's the best course possible but the keeper was able to save that so let's give it to calamari again I, I really need to just permanently do this i don't know why i keep on forgetting yeah, he gives it to donovan again but this time he wasn't able to get the goal but another cross and straight at the keeper this time i mean it was straight at german as well but the keeper was able to come out and collect that Okay, that would have been a really good opportunity, and it still is, it still is, and what the fuck? They actually, they actually didn't score that. That was a really good pass from German, the defender completely flunked it, and that's all that we're able to get at the end, a fucking corner. Okay, we have another chance here, we can go all the way, and super saves that again, what the hell? There's no way, there's no way you fucking save that. There's no way you fucking save that. Let's try and give it to Donovan here and this should be a goal and yes, that's it. He has three, he has had three opportunities and he has finally got in the last one. A really good goal, he got the giant celebration there and well, 
I mean, it was coming. I, 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 I can't lie. It really, it really was coming. We deserve, we deserve that goal so much because we have had so many opportunities, and that's just the best. I mean, he had two players on him, and he, he was just able to capitalize on that. Okay, we get the ball straight up immediately, and we're giving to German here, who should be able to get the goal, and you know, Unai Simon gets a really good glove on it. Okay, so yeah, another corner. Let's see if Donovan will be able to repeat what he did just now and he, he, he did get ahead on it but it was it was quite off target all right it's half time now and i have to say we've been the better side in this match and i really hope these guys do not bring in some stupid ass performance in the second half for them to just lose lose this fucking match completely we've done really well this match we've had a bunch of chances we weren't able to capitalize on them but um Donovan was able to get us that one chance that got us to go. We should be able to get more goals in the second half and let's try and do that. Alright, that was a good save from Van Dury there. I was, I was trying so hard to defend them because the, the team kept on doing what I did not ask them to do. I really didn't want them to come out and do a really fucking shit performance here and that's exactly what they are doing. They have completely switched off and now the other team is getting way more attacks than usual. They're making that they're normal bad passes as well. But this this should be a chance for a counter here. And please okay yes, we're we're definitely through. No one there for him to sweat it to. And that is a really good left footer finish. That was fucking disrespectful. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy legit just like passed it into the net there. And the keeper could not do anything about that. I mean it wasn't even the tapping but he, and I don't even know how he fucking did that. The keeper could not get it. But that was that was really really good finishing from from Fonseca there. That that is what I really like about this guy. His finishing is absolutely fucking amazing. All right, that's the second goal. Although we started on the wrong foot in this second half, where we are able to to capitalize on our one opportunity. All right, they have a corner now, and this should be a chance for us to do a counter attack. So let's give it. Okay, I mean he. He has, he has laid down the floor and it has pretty much gone already. But we have Fonseca making a run for oh, shit, shit. He just wasted so much fucking time with that pass. He wasted so much freaking time because I, I passed the ball really, really early. And for some reason, for some really fucking giant ass reason, he wasn't able to just pass the ball on time. I want to bring in Rise here for Kallenberg because I want uh, Madike to get the full... Okay, so we are actually out of substitution. So we, we're not going to be able to bring Rise into this match. I actually just made a mistake there, subbing out um, the captain, Calvin James. And well, let's just try and get the win. Okay, so that was a good... Let's give it to Kallenberg here. And what the hell, why, why was that touch needed? I told you to play one time. We have somewhat of an opportunity here and that should be a red card. That should be a fucking red card. That was completely unnecessary unnecessary to be honest like like why did you even need to do that i wasn't even it wasn't even a threat yet so the match is basically almost over and i really wanted us to get another goal and that was actually really good hustle hustle play from okay so this is a good chance for madrigue to get his goal and the keeper was off his line completely the keeper was out of position and he completely <laughs> he completely fucked he completely fucked that up the keeper completely fucked that off for himself. I mean, I don't know if he was trying to intercept the pass or something, but that was that was really, really good hustle play from Stewart. Who gave it to German? Who gave it to Fonseca? Who gave it to to Madrigate to execute the perfect tapping? That was his first goal for the club. And all right, so there's basically no time for them to do anything here. So that's the end of the match. It has been really, really good. Really good performance from the guys. Really good performance from every freaking person in this team today. And we have won the match. Oh my god, that guy is so fucking short. We did really well in that last match, but what we have now is the match against Rio Vallecano. The team is quite low on health. Madiki did really well in that match, but I'm going to um, put Rise in. And then I'm going to bring Flores in for Helvig and, Lo and Lozano is going to come in for Stewart. We are not at home. So, I mean, this might be a bad bad idea, but let's just hope that we are able to come out with the win in this match. And we draw the match, German, and... Okay, German gets a brace, that's good for him. We are at the end of the episode, and this is what the stats for the players are so far. We have Fonseca with 12 goals and 8 assists, amounting up to 20 goal contributions in his first season. That's good for him. And then we have German with 7 goals and 4 assists, Kallenberg with 4 goals and 7 assists. 
we say with three Cabrera with two and it's really shocking that Fonseca has the highest amount of assists when he's the one that has the best finishing and he has the highest amount of goals so that's good for him he's playing really well so anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy this episode make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already comment down below what you think about the team and how it's going so far do you guys like the new signing Maduke or not I'll see you guys in the next episode peace